Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy Luby, and today is Tuesday at 10 o'clock, so you know what time it is. It's time for my quick and easy card. Today I'm going to be using textures and frames. This is a stamp set that you can get with a um, during our celebration, which is you place a $50 order or more and you get the stamp set for free. So who wouldn't want a free stamp set? And I just love the textures on this stamp set. You've got a square, you've got a couple of circles, you've got these little lines, you've got a splatter. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy card today using this stamp set and another one which is called Create with Friends. Create with Friends is a great stamp set because you can put these words with these um, scripted words and make something. So today I'm going to use one that says forever friends, but you can put all sorts of different ones together. You can do one that says, let's be friends. You can put, um, let's create, um, create together. I mean, all sorts of different uh, phrases that you can do with that. And I like that because you can make your own sentiment instead of having something that's already done for you. And then the last set I'm going to be using is Shaded Summer because I'm going to do, like I said, the Forever Friends. And the sentiment I'm going to use is some friendships are just meant to be. So those are the ones that I decided to put together for this set, for this stamp that I'm going to be doing. So the colors I'm going to be using are Just Jade, Magenta Madness, uh, Soft Sea Foam, and Bumblebee. So and my card base is going to be um, Magenta Madness. And that's at your standard card size, A2, which is um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then my front of my card is going to be used doing four by five and a, and a quarter. And I'm going to be doing that in the same size for my inside of my card. And then for my sentiment, I decided to layer. So my Magenta Madness is at three and an eighth by a one and seven eighths. And my Just Jade is going to be three by one and three of quarters. And then you're going to need two little pieces of scrap, which is our basic white. All right. So let's get our front of our card done. And I'm going to be just do, doing some random stamping. But, you know, first I think I'm going to go ahead and do um because i've already cut these mounted and i was going to show you how to do this so remember i'm going to do the forever friends and i'm going to use that for my uh, front of the card but when you're using um your blocks i was going to show you a, a kind of a, a little technique that i use and i use a like more of a grid paper here and what i do when i'm doing a bigger block and i have a smaller sentiment is I tend to use the top of my block because if you do in the middle, you have a tendency to get ink all the way around the block just because you're tapping it. It's just, just the nature of what you're doing. So what I do is a lot of times I will um, go ahead and line this up on my grid paper so it's somewhat straight. And hopefully I can do this without getting my head in there. And then you can kind of see that, you know, you use your grid to kind of straighten up the, the sentiment. And then I put the top of my block and I try to do it so I'm mimicking the grid paper. So I'm kind of using that as my guide. I press it down and I pick it up. So therefore, it's, it's somewhat straight. And that really does help you when you're trying to put it on a sheet of paper and try to do it straight. And I did the same, same thing with the forever. I lined it up and then I picked it up here. And then I'm going to do that with um, a little piece of just a little scrap piece that I had. A lot of times this is off of when you're trimming your paper for when you're doing your, five, um, your four by five and a quarter. So that forever is going to be done in the bumblebee. So I'm just going to do some light tapping. And you know what I forgot, which is always my little trademark here, is I always have a piece of scrap paper. And I think I forgot to go get that. So I'm going to go right over here and grab a scrap piece of paper for myself. You know, I've always got that on hand. <laughs> That's what's nice about doing stuff in your craft room is you know right where it is. So you can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and 
test that out because you know that's what I always do. And I'm going to just go ahead and put this up kind of at the top. I just want a little bit of border around here for my forever. And then when I do that, I take my snips and I just go ahead and hand trim it because, you know, when you have such small little sheets of paper, they're very hard, especially for my fat fingers, to get them in the trimmer so I get it just right. And then I'm just going to trim the bottom of this straight and um, can kind of do it trim and twice just to get it straight because my eyeballs aren't straight today. <laughs> And then that way you can go ahead and put that in your um, card. And it's already done. And you don't have to stick that in the trimmer to try to get that going. It just doesn't work sometimes for me. All right. Now on the um, friends that I, I'm going to be stamping, I'm going to do that in the Magenta Madness. I'm going to close this up because I know myself I'm going to stick my fingers in there. And that's not going to work for me. <laughs> now on the friends, I didn't want to... I wanted to do something a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp this. And I'm not, not caring where I'm stamping it because I'm going to show you. I am actually going to use my snips and I'm going to trace the outline of this stamp. And that's how I'm going to do um, my card. I didn't want it to be two squares. I wanted it to kind of kind of do my own little thing here. So all I'm going to do is just kind of mimic the bottom. And when I do my fussy cutting, I just tend to go around, move the paper, not move the snips. And I just kind of go around. No big deal. I'm not trying to do it so it's, and you know, tight. I just want to do, I want, I want definitely the white to go around. See what I did on the bottom? See how you can see that? Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Just do the top. I don't, you know, again, I'm not going to do it tight so it's really close. I'm just kind of wanting to do my own outline. Just to kind of give it a little character when you're putting it on your card. I think it's kind of, it's kind of something different. You know, sometimes we always tend to use our framelits or do our own little uh, shapes when it comes to our sentiments. But sometimes I think even with this kind of thing, you can go ahead and fussy cut it. And it's kind of fun because it's just showing a little bit of, like I said, character for the card. All right. And I'm just about done. Fussy cutting. Woohoo! Already done. So we're going to go ahead and get that. So we're, but this is going to how it's going to look. So I can actually go ahead and put this together. So this is my friend's. And I'm going to put forever up here. See what I'm saying? And then we're going to do the friends. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little, um, just a little adhesive on that. And of course, that one's already done. I don't know how that is. Sometimes you grab your adhesive and it's already, it needs a new one. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do my forever. I'm going to put that, still not liking that one little piece right here. For some reason, my eyes are caliwonker today. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sometimes they um, do well and other days they don't. I have that kind of dry eyes that I have to kind of pay attention to all the time, put drops of eyes. Oh, isn't it fun when you get older? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the blocks out now. And I'm going to take these two out, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my shapes that I'm going to use. And let's go ahead and do that. So I've got my sentiment already made. And let's see, we're going to go ahead and do my circle. And I'm going to do the little lines and I'm going to do the splatter. So I put those on there. I'm go ahead and put my friends back so I don't lose that. I love how our new stamp sets have a place to put your words or your shapes or whatever you have so you know that everything is accountable for. I just love that, that new system. It really does work. All right. So I'm going to put this over here. 
Now what I'm going to do on my, um, I'm going to start with my bigger shape on my card, and that's going to be my circle. And I'm going to do that in a lighter color because I didn't want everything to compete with each other because of the Just Jade and uh, Magenta Madness are going to be bold colors. So I decided that I wanted a lighter color for one of my shapes. So I'm going to do that with my circles. And I'm going to do a little just, you just do it random. That's what I like about doing this kind of card. There's nothing you have to kind of line up. You're just kind of doing the shapes. I'm going to do one over here. And then I think I'll do a partial over here. Just kind of something peeking in. There we go. Again, everything's different. You know, that's what I like about doing this kind of card is it's very random. It's just what you're, what's eye appealing. I'm going to do my Just Jade next. And that is going to be the my little lines here. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of line those up how I want them. And I've got one kind of, and see what I know, what I mean about when you're tapping and doing these things. Sometimes I tend to look and make sure that I tapped evenly because um, I noticed that, that I had one that just didn't quite take the ink properly. If you get a little ink, I just take a little rag and wipe that off. Um, that's just what happens when you use a little bit larger block. I'm going to do one in here. And it doesn't matter if it touches the lines. I'm going to just kind of do stuff. So you're just kind of doing things randomly. And I think I'll put one more. Now, see here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's part of here that didn't quite get the ink. So I'm going to do that one more time. All right. Okay, and you know, if it does have a little bit of faded area on it, I think that's okay too, because again, this is kind of one of those random cards where everything doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm going to take my splatter and I'm going to put my splatter out randomly too. And you can do this in two tones. I tend to do that sometimes too, where I'll stamp it and then I'll stamp it again. And then it gives you these two different looks for um, your splatter. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of stamp where I want to do that to kind of add some interest. Let's see, I'm going to do over here. Let's see, I think I'll do this one this way. Now I'm going to do something a little bit more random. See how I'm kind of doing stuff where I'm just kind of Doing something a little different. And then here, you know, we're, we're still going to put, remember, we're going to put this sentiment here. So I don't need to really focus that much on the middle because, you know, even though my spider is going to kind of peek, peek out a little bit, I'm kind of doing it more off-centered. Kind of want to do a little something different. So sometimes it's easy when you put your actual sentiment down to kind of see where you might else, where you might need a little bit more stamping. And I think I'll do a little bit more here and just a tiny bit over here, just a little bit, just a little bit on that side. Okay, I think we're done. Just kind of adds that color, it kind of brings all of those colors together. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and since I have all this out, we're going to go ahead and do the inside of the card. And like I said, the inside of the card, I'm going to put my sentiment on there for the, about our friendship. So I'm going to do that in Bumblebee. So I'm going to go ahead and take another block that I have. Go ahead and test that one out. There we go. So I'm going to put that on my card. Yep, you know, Sometimes that happens. See how it's kind of, it's not quite centered the way it was. Well, you know, we have two sides to all of our, our card stock. So I'm going to test that one more time because just of how it's lining up, I want to see which way. Okay. So I can kind of get that more centered. Perfect. All right. I you know that's what's nice about doing things live is, you know, things happen. You had just do it and you fix it. So I like, that's why I like doing live videos. I'm not showing you that everything comes out perfect the first time because it doesn't. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. It's just, that's card making 
or any kind of arts that you do, I think, you know, nothing's you sometimes you have to fix mistakes. So I'm going to do my circle, I'm going to actually do all three um, items on here just to kind of as a as an accent to the card kind of brings it all together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my just jade. And then I'm, instead of putting this one on top of the other, like I did on one of my other cards, I'm going to probably stamp off a little bit and then I'm going to do a little bit of this. Just kind of just do something random. Doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be just centered right. And I'm going to do this one because I wanted to kind of do this more on the lighter side with all of this. And I'm going to do my splatter. So I have stamped off on that and done that too. And then that adds a little interest to the inside of the card. All right. Well, I think it's time to kind of put all of our stamps together here and put our finish our card. You know, I have nails now, so sometimes it's hard to me to grab some of these um, clothes out of our stamp sets. But hey, I'm learning. All right. So I'm going to take the base of my card and go ahead and put my piece on the inside. And you'll see, like I said, you'll never see <laughs> my boop on the other side. Go ahead and center that up, put that inside. I'm going to go ahead and put this down with my adhesive. Now, while, while I'm doing that, I wanted to show you, too, that um, we, I have a partner and I do a quick and easy card on her site also. And she is over at Paper Crafts by Elaine. So if you ever want to see those videos, I do that on Monday at two o'clock. Elaine also does a scrapbook page, which I do share on my site, as well as a quick uh, tips and techniques on Friday. Both of those um, are at two o'clock. And I do share that on my site too, because I think it's kind of nice. She is a great scrapbooker. She does some wonderful um, techniques on there. And then when she does her tips and techniques, it kind of makes it unusual. You kind of nice to have both. So you'll always see a different card on Monday when I do my cards. And then on um, Tuesday, I do the same stamp set, but um, a different card. That way you get two, a twofer. So here I went ahead and did, I, I pop dotted this up, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put some um, adhesive on the bottom of this. You can do it either way. You can make it completely flat if you want. Hey, just mix it up. That's the way I always say. And like I said, on this, I wanted to do a little bit so it's a little off center. All right, so there is today's card. This is, I just love this. I think it's a fun way to make a quick and easy card. You can do any colors you want. Just, just pick out a few colors and start stamping. Nothing has to be perfect. It doesn't, it just can be very random. But with the other colors that I used, I think it brings it all together. And I love this. Some friendships are meant to be. This would be a great card. I think I'm going to go ahead and send this to one of my friends. I'm I'm missing my friends that I moved away from, so I think I'll go ahead and pop one off in the mail to them. Well, that is today's card, ladies. I will be back on next Tuesday at 10 o'clock to do another quick and easy card. I'm not sure exactly what stamp set I'm going to use yet, but stay tuned. So join us and join me back on uh, my Cindy's Cards and More for Wednesday, where I will share Elaine's video when she does. I think I misspoke. She's not doing a scrapbook this week. We are doing a reveal of our paper pumpkin alternatives. So at seven o'clock at Cindy's Cards and More, I'm going to be doing my reveal with our um, paper, our paper pumpkin alternatives. So that is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to have the cards that I've done and the cards that Elaine has created. We're going to put the two together and reveal tons of different cards that you can make just out of this wonderful paper pumpkin that Shelly, our co-founder, has designed. So I can't wait to show you that to you. So remember, Wednesday at 7 p.m. back here on Cindy's Cards and More, 
I will be doing our paper pumpkin reveal. So I'll see you then. Bye now.